setting up and down Fourth Street. Painted T-shirts, greeting cards, paintings. Then I moved in front of Cafe Kilimanjaro. I was there for a year. A year later, I got the shop adjacent to the cafe. And um, I was in the shop for nine years. And um, after that, I moved up on Boris Stone Road in the Highlands, where I've been there for the last two years. Still doing the same thing. Painting t-shirts, paintings, greeting cards, and the rest of the stuff. I just, I just realized you're on Boris Yeah, I'm on Boris <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you need to come see me, baby. Yes. Yeah, bless y'all, both yes. of y'all. Okay. Yeah. Just yourself? You this wanna... lineup is the most underappreciated <laughs> festival in Louisville. And uh, here, here's your stand, what you got going on, man? I got all kinds of uh, cultural vibes, uh, incense, uh, collectibles, music, blues, reggae. Cool. You know, all, cool. all of the great elements of culture. <laughs> For you here? Yeah, it's great, great crowd, great music. People love the blues, they love, they love variety. It's a great crowd, it's a great show. Online, I do most of the festivals, the Highland festivals, reggae festivals, and then I also work with some retailers like Natural Mystics and Herb Company, Electric Lady Land. They, they carry some of my stuff when I'm when I'm not doing festivals. Cool, man. Good deal. Hey, thanks, man. Good talking to you. All right, you welcome. This is my first year at Garden Blues Festival. I live here in the neighborhood and it was actually kind of a, it's been a great experience for me. I've met a lot of great people and I've got a lot of good comments about my work, but more importantly I've enjoyed the, uh, the conversation with a multiplicity of folks. Uh, it's always good to meet people from everywhere else, right. as well as Louisville, so <laughs> this, is, this has been really good. Cool. So good news. Definitely. <laughs> from a series of three pieces, dance, midnight celebration, and then there's a piece on the other side that's called Rhythm. And they were from a series, a very small series, there were only three pieces. They were inspired by the sound of the Native American drum and the African drum, and the correlation between the two. They were basically the beginning of a new series at the end of a series that was dedicated to Native American artists and the fight of the Native American Indian. So this is what we've got here. Definitely. All right.